Hello there. I am a day before my PET scan. PET scans are real important. They are a indicator of what's going on in your body as far as cancer. They are more revealing than a CT scan, which is also called a CAT scan. More revealing than an MRI, which is two-dimensional or maybe even one-dimensional. I'm not sure how you call it, but a CAT scan, you can usually like scroll through it and see like the different um, levels, you know, the different layers. You've seen those kind of scans, right, where they go through and start with the head and then go down or the other way. You can scan from the nose and go all the way through the body and see exactly where things are. PET scans, very similar, but they use a different technology. They are very, very toxic as far as radiation. I want you to know that straight up. I want you to Google PET scan and radiation and see what I'm talking about as far as how many, you know, uh, whatever it's measured and how many uh, power of, to the power of do, getting a regular x-ray or normal exposure to x-rays or any kind of rays that are coming from, you know, outer space to us. <laughs> All right, and it will blow your mind. That is why PET scans are not advised to do like two or three or four or five in a row for a long time because your body accumulates this radiation. Now, what does radiation do in the body? It's a carcinogen, number one. If you are already fighting cancer, and I assume you're curious about cancer and what things happen to someone that is fighting cancer like me, or you wouldn't be watching this, or you know somebody that may be fighting cancer and you want to get some good information for them. Thank you very much for uh, watching this. I am not a doctor. I'm not an oncologist. I'm not anything like that. I'm a guy who at the present moment has gallbladder cancer and cancer that it's around the bile ducts and affecting parts close to my liver and gallbladder and where the colon makes that turn right there that's where this guy is and I'll give you what's working for me what makes me feel better what you know it shows progression as I do it through the protocol that I use and um, the therapies that I agree to as far as, you know, conventional therapy, conventional standard of care medicine. I do do chemotherapy, all right? So that's, that's part of, but that's part of my protocol. You know, I'm doing a therapeutic keto diet, which means a ketogenic diet that is designed to be used as a medicinal thing and not something to lose weight or to, uh, you know, do anything other than to fight this cancer. So that's what we're concentrating on. So PET scans, carcinogenic, can't have them like, you know, in my head, when I first started thinking about this, uh, like a couple months ago with a PET scan, yeah, wouldn't it be great to have one photograph do a bunch of my protocol, you know, the things that I do, supplements I take, the diet I'm doing, exercise, you know, everything, the sleep, everything that I have in that, and then see the next photograph and notice a regression, you know, in the, the cancer. But they don't recommend that. And the reason being is because these things are so evil, right? In one side, of course, they are beneficial because we can tell what's going on in the body and the other side, your body can only take so much and you know, you're know you already compromised. I mean, I can feel and see in my body the effects of chemotherapy. I would suggest to you that being on a therapeutic keto diet makes you feel great. I mean, it's, it's full of energy, it's done right, it's what your body really wants. Your body starts running on ketones that are much more efficient than normal fat or carbohydrates, which is another fuel for the body. So your body running on glucose is okay. You know, your body's pretty adaptable to stuff. But when it starts running on ketones, man, it's such a happy camper. It is. So 
given that, and if I had to do that all the time without the chemotherapy, I would fee, fee feeling, right? I would be feeling so much better than I am right now with a lot more energy, a lot more weight, I think. I've lost some weight because of the chemo. And uh, I don't feel nauseated. I don't vomit, don't have the diarrhea, don't have all the stuff that goes around, goes along with the side effects from chemotherapy because I do this long fasting before I go into chemo, at least 72 hours of fasting. And that's another one you can Google. There's so many scientific studies on doing a long fast before chemo. And you can tell your friends maybe that are getting chemotherapy about this. It's a good trick. It mitigates the side effects from chemotherapy. Most of them, most of them, okay? You will not feel nauseous as much. And I haven't felt anything. And um, have not upchucked one time, haven't thrown up once, have been, haven't been like in the bathroom for hours. Like some people I hear, it's just, it's sad because a lot of, the, the, a lot of people bulk up. Uh, the, the thinking was, that you know you should be eating a lot of food because you need your strength going into this chemo and studies found that no that's not the case at all the more that you shut down everything your cells get into a protective mode and then when the chemicals come they are being protected by their own self-protection the cancer cells on the other hand are usually scavenging for whatever food they can get and they do uptake the chemotherapy chemicals. So that's a good thing because we want them guys to die out, leave the body through the normal process and, you know, be gone. Now, in a few moments, I am going to be jumping in my car (laughs) and running to, I think, Costco because I want you to see some interesting things on this PET scan pre, it's called a preparation sheet, okay? It's interesting because the diet they have you on like a couple days before you do the PET scan is almost identical to the keto diet. Take a look. So you can see here that my PET scan is scheduled for 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. That is after my chemotherapy. So take a look at this. This says the day before your scan... Keep a protein-based, low-carb, no sugar, no fruit diet, nothing sweet, nothing dairy, no bread, no pasta, no rice, potatoes, fruit, sugar, no alcohol, right? Eat proteins like meat, chicken, fish, etc. You can also eat vegetables, eggs, salad. Use only oil and vinegar for dressing and cheese. Drink plenty of plain water right up to your appointment time. Avoid excessive exercise the day before and the day of your scan to avoid muscle uptake. Very interesting, right? And then the day of, it's, you know, don't even have any gum or candy, cough drops, nothing. Just have plain water. If it's in the afternoon, you can have a light breakfast, it says, but I'm on a fast, so that's... But this is why I'm going to Costco right here. Wear comfortable, warm clothing with no metal, no zippers, snaps, or metal buttons. I don't have shorts or anything like that, right? So I'm going to go get some, maybe some of those um, like sports shorts that are made out of, uh, what do you call that material? The fuzzy stuff, you know, that you wear in the gym. And that's what I'm going to do. Here, here we go again at the very bottom, the PET CT scan diet guidelines. Don't eat or drink the following. No sugars, starches, carbs, no candy, no gum, no bread, no yogurt. No alcohol, no snacks, no potatoes. (laughs) Look what's okay to eat, guys. Plain water, steak, red meat, pork, bacon, ham, oil, vinegar, margarine. Well, that's off my menu. Butter, tofu, fish, avoid breading, eggs, hard cheese, zucchini, lettuce, celery, uh, raw, natural, nuts, unflavored, oh, or unsweetened, rather, peanut butter. Now, why do you think they have all this on here? The thing that puzzles me about this whole deal is that they know that, right, in the, the setup for the PET scan. But uh, I think I've got everything to go, right? Let me just check here real quick. 
I was I was forgetting this is probably the most you know thing that I have to carry the most is these reading glasses because I get out there and I'm going okay what the carb content on this and I can't see anything because anyway back to the subject I can't understand is that for a PET scan the reason why they have you eating no sugars nothing that would turn into a sugar like carbohydrates right is because the PET scan comes with a an IV that is 100% glucose I'm pretty sure it's some kind of a glucose that's going to go in your body and cancer cells love glucose these guys in my body have not eaten glucose for quite some time right so when I get this glucose they are going to light up and that's what they want everybody's cancers to do in a PET scan is to light up and just go crazy so the PET scan machine can take pictures of them lighting up you know so we can see in the PET scan where these guys are now why doesn't that translate over to a normal diet day to day for people who are suffering from cancer tell me that if they know that cancer cells love and grow and proliferate with sugar with glucose why don't they prescribe that to everybody you know a low a low carb or zero carb zero sugar diet with the red meat they suggested fish oils you know all the good stuff that you and I know are so beneficial to the body right that is the big question why don't they make that connection something to think about okay here at Costco and what I found are these champion shorts the only size they have is small but I have gone uh, I don't know 45 pounds down from where I was before so I'm pretty sure I can wear a small and according to the little sign over there these are 497 a piece so I almost feel like taking two of them. matter of fact if this works out for me which I just kind of I opened the, um, the string here and you know kind of size them I think this will work because most of my clothes I have to wear with a belt and you know really cinch it tight but I'm gonna keep on looking here but five bucks is a nice price for something like this and guess what no zipper right back at the car I'm gonna put uh, things in the back of the car here I'm gonna kind of explain why I bought them from Costco first of all we have this amazing Florida raised local fed <laughs> local fed local grass-fed beef right and uh, probably the best stuff you could get because grass-fed is good and grass finished right but then I found this look at this is pork loin that has been slivered into some very interesting pieces I'm gonna try to make some beef jerky with that I got very super creamy cheese from France uh, the reason I got this is because it's off the charts in fat and low in protein it's uh, like a spreadable cheese these are some beef snacks I got that don't have any um, uh, carbs in them no sugar and they are from Green Ridge Farms here and uh, no no additives no nothing it's just beef you know and um, this is cheese from Greece it is made out of sheep's milk and uh, that is very good for you this kind of stuff I'm sure you guys have seen this before Havre cheese I use this to put on different dishes that I make so you have some melting cheese and then I always try to get this um, triple cream president's brie the reason is and I've shown this to you guys before is because it has 11 grams of fat and only four grams of protein so it's excellent source of fat and oh yeah one more thing MCT oil what would we do without it right 
Uh, the other neat thing I found at uh, Costco is this parchment paper from France. I'm going to use that to do the, um, the beef jerky in the oven. And uh, it's excellent. It was only like $8.50 for these tons of it. And we cannot forget the reason why we came to Costco in the first place. My shorts, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Hmm. These are pretty small. Let's try them on. Here we go. Wow. Perfect. Man, that's great. You know what I heard is that putting your hands inside your pockets is a sign of low self-confidence. You think that's true? Hmm? Look at that. For under five dollars, I got this beautiful pair of champion. No zipper. Hey, hey, hey. Back pocket. Where is it? Right there. Ah, man. Could not be happier. And fits without a belt. I love it. I love it. So, back where we started from. There you go, guys. I'm all ready for my PET scan tomorrow. Hopefully you had an awesome day. I am signing off until the next video. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for telling your friends about this. Because... When you like and tell your friends, get more views and helps me out here on YouTube. Thanks so much.